Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, and how to do the connection between those two. The Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. Finally, I'll teach you how, how to make a code based on the Fibonacci sequence. So now we're going to go to the next classroom. Start with the Fibonacci sequence. Here I come. So, N and Fn. I usually do N first. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I think that's the limit. Or I can do probably more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 is going to be the last one. Kind of. Or I could do 17 and that's it. So that's it. So the first one is, is 1 because 1 plus 0 equals 1. Usually, I I know there is an F zero, so uh, so so that's that's also two is also one because it's added by the previous numbers one plus zero which is one so so and then we get two because one plus one equals two then we get three because one plus two equals three and and so on with 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and blah, blah, blah. Fifteen is six ten. Sixteen is is nine hundred and eighty seven. And the seventeenth is we don't know. So now let's use the recursive equation. So Fn equals to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So do you know what n is? Well, look on top of the question mark. It's 17. So, so n equals 17. So that is F17 equals to F17 minus 1. Plus F17 minus 2. F17 equals to F16 because 17 minus 1 is 16 plus F17 minus 2, which is F15 because 17 minus 2 is 50. So, read. So, anyways, F17 equals to Six to ten plus 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 uh nine eighty seven. I like to arrange it like that. So seven plus zero equals to se seven. So seven is the back number. Eight eight plus one equals nine, and nine plus six equals to fifty. So one thousand and five hundred and ninety seven is is. The fifteenth number. Oh, I probably will need some more space for this one. One thousand and five hundred and ninety-seven. Wow, a 